こんにちは、ゆうこ先生です。今日のトピックは女子の2です。Today I'm going to talk about the particle 2. First, I'm going to review the three functions of the particle 2 that I have already introduced in other videos in the past. I'll leave the links to those lessons in the show more section below, okay? And then, I'm going to teach you two new functions of the particle 2 in this lesson today. So by the end of this lesson, you will know five different functions of the particle 2. Today's lesson is very important, so please take notes, okay? では、レッスンを始めましょう。Today in this lesson, let's talk about the particle 2. You have already learned three functions of the particle 2 in this course. Let's review those three functions first. The particle 2 marks absolute time expressions. They are the time expressions that you would mark with prepositions in English. So, at 8 o'clock is 8時に In March is 3月に On Saturday is 土曜日に And On Christmas is Christmas ni. In this function, the particle ni works as a time marker. So if you want to say something like this, I wake up at 8 every morning, you have to say, 毎朝8時に起きます。毎朝8時に起きます。The second function of the particle that you have learned is to mark a destination. So, B さん often goes to the cafe in Japanese is B さんはよくカフェに行きます。B さんはよくカフェに行きます。Here, the particle works as a destination marker. You also learn the particle ni as a place of existence marker. When you use the verb exist, imas or arimas, you mark the location with the particle ni. So, I have a cat at home is, うちに猫がいます。うちに猫がいます。There are shrines in Tokyo is, 東京に神社があります。東京に神社があります。These are the three functions of the particle に that you have learned so far. The particle に as a time marker, destination marker, and place of existence marker. I'm going to introduce a new function of the particle 2 today. For this new function, you are also going to have a destination in the sentence, always. There is no exception. So naturally, you will have two of the particle 2 in one sentence. One to mark the destination and the other for the new function. Okay, let's begin. Please take notes, okay? Let's change the subject from B さんと友達 And I'm going to drop the adverb often, よく to make the sentence shorter and easier for you to see this new sentence structure. As I said, you are going to always have a destination in this new structure, which means your sentence has to end with a motion verb. These are the examples of motion verbs. Return as go back. 帰ります。Return as come back. 帰ってきます。go. 行きます。or come. 来ます。They indicate you carry your body from one point to another as you proceed to the destination. These two elements The destination and the motion verb are essential for the structure we are going to learn today. You must have these two in your sentence, okay? 
Okay, I'm going to use the motion verb go. Ikimasu as an example. My friend goes to the cafe is 友達はカフェに行きます。Right? Now, the new information we are going to add to this sentence today is this. Why he goes there? The purpose of him going to the cafe. Let's say he goes to the cafe in order to drink coffee. The part in order is not usually used in everyday English, so I'm not going to say it from now on in this lesson, okay? So, my friend goes to the cafe to drink coffee. This is what we want to say in Japanese. And to drink coffee is the new element that we are going to add to the sentence today. We call this part the purpose of movement. And we mark this one with the pariko ni. This is a new function that we are going to discuss today. The pariko ni as a purpose marker. So this ni means something like in order to in English. Let's complete the sentence. Now we want to add to drink coffee as a purpose here. Kohi is still the direct object for the verb drink in this phrase, so you mark it with o. And now, you have to put the verb drink before the purpose marker ni, like this. Nomi. Nomi. This part of the verb is called stem. I believe this is the first time that you learn the stem of Japanese verbs, so please take notes. The stem is the head part of Japanese verbs in mass form after you take off the mass ending. So, nomi is the stem of nomimas. Tabe is the stem of tabemas. Mi is the stem of mimas. She is the stem of shimas. You mark these stems with the pariko ni when these actions are the purpose of going, returning, or coming. Now the sentence is complete. My friend goes to the cafe to drink coffee in Japanese is 友達はカフェにコーヒーを飲みに行きます。友達はカフェにコーヒーを飲みに行きます。See, you used a particle に twice in this sentence, right? One to mark the destination and the other to mark the purpose. If I use the stem of the verb do, しますす。then say something like this, Do you understand the meaning of the sentence? 明日、図書館に宿題をしに行きます。明日、図書館に宿題をしに行きます。What does it mean? わかりますか So this ne, right. It means tomorrow I'm going to the library to do my homework. 明日図書館に宿題をしに行きます。Here, the combination of the stem she and the particle に means in order to do or to do and it indicates the purpose of me going to the library tomorrow. If you change the purpose of going to the library like this, to read books, then you have to say, 明日図書館に本を読みに行きます。明日図書館に本を読みに行きます。To say, to borrow books, now you have to say, 明日図書館に本を借りに行きます。明日図書館に
本を借りに行きます。So this is the new function of the particle に。The particle に also marks a purpose of movement. Now you have learned four functions of this particle in this course, Japanese 3. に as a time marker. Destination marker. Place of existence marker and purpose marker. Let me remind you one more time. For this sentence structure, you must have a motion verb in your sentence, okay? As a result, you should have at least two of the particle ni to mark the destination and the purpose. Okay, let's practice with a different motion verb. Return as go back. Let's say your friend is going back to the US to see his family. Family in Japanese is Kazoku. Kazoku. And when you meet someone, you have to mark the person with the pariko ni. Here's another function of this pariko. Ni also marks the person or people that you meet. And the verb meet is aimasu in Japanese. So the stem is ai. Ai. Here you cannot use the verb see, mimasu. The Japanese verb mimasu simply means you visually see or watch something and it doesn't have the connotation of meeting someone as in English. So here you have to use the verb aimasu, which takes the particle ni to mark the person that you meet. Now the sentence is complete. My friend is going back to the USA to see his or her family in Japanese is 友達はアメリカに家族に会いに帰ります。友達はアメリカに家族に会いに帰ります。This sentence only makes sense if you are outside the US. In case you are in the US, Then you have to say your friend is coming back instead of going back. Return as come back in Japanese is 帰ってきます帰ってきます So my friend is coming back to the USA to see his or her family in Japanese is 友達はアメリカに家族に会いに帰ってきます友達はアメリカに家族に会いに帰ってきます。And as always, as long as you don't move the verb in the sentence, you can shuffle other units. You can put them like this, or you can put them like this too. I hope you now understand how to put the purpose of movement to your sentences by using the particle ni. Okay, to wrap up today's lesson, let's see if you can do this. Can you say this in Japanese? Sensei is going back to Japan to see her mother in May. Let's assume that you are outside Japan as you are saying this sentence, so you must use go back, okay? Please pause the video here and try this for yourself first. I'll give you the hint. You will have to use the particle ni four times in this sentence. わかりましたかでは答えです。Okay, here's the answer. 先生は5月に日本にお母さんに会いに帰ります。先生は5月に日本にお母さんに会いに帰ります。The first に marks the time expression. 
This ni marks the destination. This ni marks the person being met. And this marks the purpose of movement. As a result, you use the particle ni four times in this sentence. 先生は5月に日本にお母さんに会いに帰ります。By the way, I hope you didn't use haha here. Haha refers to the speaker's mother and it automatically means my mother. So if you say, 先生は5月に日本に母に会いに帰ります。It means I go back to Japan in May to see the speaker's mother, which is your mother. But here you have to say to see her mother, so you must use お母さん。And then, if you happen to be in Japan now, then you have to say coming back instead of going back. 先生は5月に日本にお母さんに会いに帰ってきます。先生は5月に日本にお母さんに会いに帰ってきます。I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and now feel more confident as to how to use the particle ni. I teach Japanese through my online courses and today's lesson was a sample lesson from Nihongo san, Japanese 3, verbs and then particles. My courses are self paced and you can study Japanese in your spare time at your own pace. I have students all over the world in different countries. And they are having fun learning Japanese with my support. You can find all the information about my courses in the Shoma section below. I look forward to having you as my student. ではまた次のレッスンで会いましょう。